Well, hey there. Welcome to the West Coast Songwriters uh, Palo Alto Chapter Songwriters Competition. I'm so glad to have you all here. And thank you to Pete Summer for inviting me to join the program. My name is Renee Richardson. I'm the I'm one half of Renee and Irish Greg's pop-up show. Uh, we're a little pop-up that started in San Francisco about two years ago. Uh, Irish Greg and I come from a radio background. And we started, well, we were fired from radio because they don't like us very much. Things happen. You move on. And so we started this pop-up, and it's a wonderful way to showcase musicians and the things that we love about music. So we invite musicians to come to our show. We talk in front of a live studio audience, and fans get to know their favorite artists uh, a little bit better. We've had Chris Robinson on the show. We've had Nikki Bloom on the show, and so far, so good. Uh, so I'm very excited to be here today to be part of the competition. Uh, another part of my career, which earns me the street cred to be here, I guess, is uh, I work at The Crush in Santa Rosa, which is a locally owned radio station, and it's wonderful. And I'm also the development director at Blue Bear School of Music. I, um, I believe firmly in people being able to play the music they love, and it gives me great pleasure to hear some great music, hopefully, by some uh, songwriters from the West Coast songwriters of Palo Alto. So we're going to get started by introducing ourselves to the judges. We have some wonderful talent with us. I want to thank all the judges who are here. We have Mike Simpson. Hello, Mike. We have Bev Barnett. Hi, Bev. And Greg Newlin. Welcome. This is why you don't put a radio <laughs> gal on TV. <laughs> I'll get it by the end of You're this. You're doing great. <laughs> so let's get to know our judges a little bit. Um, you each have uh, music. You have music in your lives in many different ways. I'll start with you, Mike. Um, tell me a little bit about yourself and and why you're here to judge today. Well, I'm here to judge today primarily because about 23 years ago, these two asked me to judge at the predecessor organization to this. Uh, in downtown Saratoga, and uh, I enjoyed it, and I liked the people and the organization, so I come back whenever uh, they ask me to do it. And a little something that I learned about you is that you hit your musical peak when you were seven years old. Can you tell us? Uh, Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> yeah, well, uh, the details should probably remain hidden, but uh, yeah, I performed in a, a large, important venue doing uh, classical music as a boy soprano then and uh, that was uh, I've never played any place else as big since so wow <laughs> that's that's very impressive well thank you for being here <coughs> and now we welcome Bev Barnett and Greg Newland who together have performed together for more than 15 years and also have separate careers that are music related Bev why don't we start with you um, how did you get invited to the West Coast songwriters to be a judge and tell us a little about yourself I actually was on the board of West Coast Songwriters many years ago and, and ran the, the open mic, the, the songwriting competition um, throughout the Bay Area. And so that was my uh, uh, introduction, I guess, to, uh, to the program is actually, you know, working with the program. So uh, since I, I moved on to do other things, I, you know, love to come back and, and uh, check how things are going and, and hear new music and, and support uh, the up and coming songwriters as best I can. Well, we thank you for that. And you also, I learned you're making jewelry with guitar strings. Right, these right. Days. Greg and I, uh, <laughs> Greg and I uh, toured, you know, West Coast, Southwest for for years, and and played, you know, house concerts and small venues, and and we'd be changing strings. He, would, he's the string changer guy, <laughs> would change strings on four guitars a week. So that's a lot of a lot of metal to leave in the trash can at the Motel Six somewhere in in uh, in uh, Utah. So I started saving the strings and thought I would figure out what to do with them, and I have. So bracelets and, and earrings, and, and uh, so far I've, I've calculated that I've rescued and processed over 2,000 guitar strings. Wow, yeah. that's fantastic. Yeah. Thank you for keeping that out of the, um, the, the landfill. The landfill. Yeah. Uh, can you do the same with bass strings, Absolutely. Like stand-up bass? Yeah. <laughs> now stand-up, well, I don't know. I have to figure out stand-up bass. As long I, uh, as they've got the, the little uh, uh, ball ends, I can use them. You can like use them. One. That's fantastic. <clears throat> yeah. that's, that's great. It. And Greg, as we learned, you guys have been playing music together for a long time, but um, how, how did you get involved with West Coast Songwriters? Uh, same way. We just, when we were playing, we started playing at some of the open mics and competitions, among other things we were doing, and <clears throat> here you are. just kind of moved around and did that, and mm -hmm. then we 
ended up playing and touring around and recording CDs. And we've got a few CDs full of songs that have never won anything. So nobody <laughs> should be nobody should be unhappy about anything. Yeah, you know, so. yeah that is that is a claim that we always make sure we tell people when Here's we're judging. Here's another song that, that didn't win anything yeah, ever. Yeah. You know? <laughs> But it's still all right. They're beautiful <laughs> songs. Now, let me ask, uh, this is to each of you, and, and either, any three of you can answer this one first, but um, what are you going to be looking for in today's performances? Uh, I guess we'll start with you, Mike. Well, they gave us a sheet, and it tells me what to look for. <laughs> so I'll be looking for that. No, uh, beyond the, uh, the strict sort of technical rating things that they have here, uh, I would like to be impressed with how much you love your song. Mm, wonderful. I like that. Mm -hmm. And Bev, what about you? Uh, I look for truth. And it doesn't mean, when I, when, I, when I say a song is true, it doesn't mean it had to have happened like that. But I want you con to convince, I want you to convince me that it did. Excellent. And Greg? It's the same thing. I look for the truth of it. It doesn't matter if it's a one chord song or a 97 chord song. You know, you look for the heart in it and the believability of the song, and, you know, that's kind of where I go. Okay, and uh, just to get to know you guys a little more, Mike, what is on your playlist right now? What's your favorite song that you're listening to right now? Um, Don't you love it? I have it? a day job, so I, I, have, uh, I work off of CDs. Oh. You may remember those. Yeah. They were around and so on. Um, the one in there right now is a CD called Crow, by uh, Berkeley and Berkeley Hart. Nice. And the song I like best on it is called Sam. Very good. All right. And what about you, Bev? Oh, um, <clears throat> my, my playlist is always a combination of Eliza Gilkison and Blame mm. Sally and nice. you know, various other folk artists that, that I love. And Greg, you're up. I have a short attention span, so whatever I heard five minutes ago is what I go listen to. You know? <laughs> Do you really? Yeah, yeah, you go investigate a little bit? Yeah, yeah, I just heard something on the radio coming up here, and um, I went and found out what it was. I'm going to go home and listen to it. That's fantastic. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm glad to hear that people still listen to the radio. I do, it's too. Hard. It's hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard. getting harder all the time. It's getting harder all the time. It's a true fact. But, uh, you know, a lot of stations, sometimes I bounce around and find that nugget, and then I find my next favorite artist. So thank you to the radio stations that are still introducing us to uh, great music. And on the stage today, we're going to have nine performers uh, that these guys will be judging. Um, we'll have two winners at the end of the program, but throughout the program, we'll be getting to enjoy some music from some local talent from right here in the South Bay. So we look forward to what's going to be happening here on the stage. And are we ready to go to the f ne first performer? Fantastic. I know your last name's Ari. I, 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 I should have been more organized. <laughs> okay, yes. Anthony, how are you? Good. This is Anthony Aria, and he's from Santa Cruz. Mm -hmm. He's new to the West Coast Songwriters Organization, and he's new to this stage. So ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Anthony Aria. Thank you, thank you. Check, check, check. I went to bar on the rope swing again. I'd swing you back and forth. I didn't know if it could hold you up. Well, I saw your reflection in the water Yeah, your pretty face drifting on by Well, the times are getting hard Just thinking of you And I'm waiting, I'm waiting For the storm to pass on by And my love for you has no end but I don't know if I'm still in your limelight The bridges are crumbling But baby, I'll fly over or jump in I went by your old house today Asked your mother 
if you're doing okay Will I pass by your old bedroom Saw the covered walls of photographs Well, the nights are getting long Just thinking of you And I'm waiting, I'm waiting For this song to pass on by And my love for you has no end but I don't know if I'm still in your limelight The bridges are crumbling Baby, I'll fly over or jump in Jump I knew I'd never be your man today When you found someone else to keep you warm and Now I'm walking through the memories alone Without a hand to hold So long So long So long so long, so long My love for you has no end in But I don't know if I'm still in your limelight The bridges are crumbling But baby, I'll fly over But I'll never be in your limelight The bridge has tumbled down I can't fly over, just sink down I'll just sink down Thank you. Thank you so much. Why don't you come on over here and have a chit chat with me. Anthony Aria, everybody. He's uh, the first one of tonight's performers. Come in close to me so we can talk. Um, you're from Santa Cruz. Mm -hmm. did, you, did you grow up there? Yeah, I grew up in Santa Cruz. And is it okay for me to ask how old you are? Yeah, I'm 15 years old. How long have you been writing songs? That's about three years now. Wow, what inspired you to start writing? Well, I listen to a lot of different musicians and uh, um, artists like John Prine and uh, John Mayer, and I really wanted to start writing songs. Well, good for you. Who introduced you to John Prine? Well, my mom has been a uh, big fan of John Prine, and we actually saw him at the Mountain Winery, and I really fell in love with his music and artistry. It's wonderful to, to know that, that young people are still being introduced to great music. So good luck today. You're going to be judged by these fine folks. They're, they're writing feverishly, but well. Good luck, and thank you so much. Yeah, I think you can walk straight this way. And next up, our second performer is Austin Freeman, and he joins us from Morgan Hill, California. This is true. Welcome, Austin. She looked down at the horizon and back in my eyes I could see the light from the day sunrise She said, if you're sure, then this is your road Said I say this one thing if you want my advice Then take your step and don't think twice 
tread lightly on your weary soul. shoulder felt the sun on my back and the road was straight and clear and flat but I could not see anything at the end but I knew there was no going back again she smiled as she stepped out of my way On your weary soul, and don't get lost if the times get low. Keep your head held high and your eyes on the road. Tread lightly on your weary. On your weary soul And don't get lost till the times get low Keep your head held high and your eyes on the road And tread lightly On your weary soul here, Mr. Austin Freeman. Austin Freeman from Morgan Hill, California. Yeah, originally from North Carolina, but yeah, Morgan I, Hill. I was going to say, your, your southern drawl, they don't have them like that in San Jose. I do not know what you're, t <laughs> what you're talking about. I'm sorry, ma'am. I, I don't quite understand. How do you like, how do you like uh, living in, in Northern California compared to uh, South Carolina? North Carolina? North, North Carolina. Carolina. North. My parents just moved to South Carolina, so I'm, I'm very sorry. sorry. You know, no. it's lovely. The Carolinas are fantastic. They are. That is true. Uh, it's a little hard to beat California weather. Yeah. Uh, it's a little hard to beat California opportunity, and it's also a little hard to beat California prices. Yes, yeah. it is a true fact. Now, when you say all this about opportunity, and um, are, are you making a career as a musician here in Northern California and Morgan Hill area? We can always keep our fingers crossed. <laughs> Um, but uh, seriously, do you have a day job? I do, yeah. And? Is you want it, me to elaborate on No, that? you don't have to. No. Well, <laughs> they're still setting up. Well, yeah, what do you do? I won't tell you. Okay. Um, I tell jokes. Does, do you really? No. Okay, thank God. Me neither. Um, well, we thank you, and welcome to our West Coast Songwriters uh, little community. I mean, it's a, it's a wonderful group of people, and it's a, a great way to get your music out there. So we appreciate it. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Next up, we have Andrew Boyd from San Jose. Hello. So I 
I traveled, I, when I moved here, I traveled across the country and uh, I saw a lot of things as, as I drove across. And um, this isn't actually a song about that. This is a song about something totally different. Bravo. Andrew Boyd, come on over here. Now. <laughs> How you doing? Uh, I'm doing well. Yeah. Yes. How long have you been uh, playing and, and singing? Um, a very long time, not long enough. Really? Yeah. What does that mean? It just means just keep on. Just keep on, keep on. Keep on, I just love it, yeah. Um, what's your what's your favorite thing? Is it the writing or the performing? Uh, I love the writing. I love the singing. I, I love those those moments when it all comes together and you're flowing. Yeah, yeah, it's a good. It's it, it, it kind of um. You feel it all to come together, and there's a little click, a little light that goes off, right? Oh yeah, and um, it doesn't always happen, but when it does, it's yeah, it's pretty powerful. And where do you get your inspiration from? Uh, I get it from just life, living, people, day-to-day -day trials, tribulations, and then you just sort of grow. And uh, if something strikes you, usually it's like 
a guitar, it, it, it just calls out. Usually a song or a line will just call and then you have to write something about it. Yeah, yeah, I've heard that uh, about people with the talent of songwriting, that it comes to you and it is a call that, that you can't not listen to. Have you, ever, um, have you ever had a moment where you went down a road with a song and then you realized, oh, that's already a really famous song, that's why that's in my head? <laughs> yeah, um, I, it, I began to write a song about a bird, a blackbird. <laughs> no. You can't go wrong with that one. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Andrew. Thank you, and good luck today. All right, next up, we have the commitments. No? The compliments. I brought my pen and left my paper over there. The compliments. Enjoy. Hi everybody, I'm Greg. And my name is Alicia. Together we're the compliments. Yeah. Uh, and the song we're going to do, we've been working on um, for quite a bit, and we've got some great feedback from West Coast songwriters, even from fellow songwriters, and so. Uh, yeah, we're happy to, we're excited to share it. Um, it's a song about two people who never thought they would find love, and it's called Our Own Hands. Is my guitar coming through? Say you're not the kind of girl that someone would be waiting for. You packed up your bags and headed west. Rolling to the coast. And the light you never seen Bravo. I'm going to ask both of you to come on over and say hello. Tell me your name one more time. Alicia. Alicia. Yes, Alicia. And you are? Greg. Greg. 
Say hello to the cameras, you guys. Your fans, your fans. So how long have you guys been playing music together? A um, couple years now. Yeah, maybe almost a couple years, yeah, seriously, yeah. And how does the songwriting process work for you two? Do you write together? One of you does melody, the other? It, it, it changes. Yeah, I think w one of us has an idea, we'll share it with the other person, and then we'll just kind of um, iterate or edit on that process. And um, it evolves a lot, so yeah. like, yeah. like this this song has went through a lot of iterations, yeah. a lot of rewrites, and or even when we're singing it afterwards, like I think we should change this line, and then we do it, and then a few couple times after we'll go back to his original dear, or vice versa, or vice versa. <laughs> yeah. so. Do you find you over, over? I don't want to call it editing, but overthink it that way. Uh, I think we've learned like the point at which it's it's it's. You've you've tried to do too much with with something, and I think that's an important um, like skill to learn. Is just like when to let it be, you know. Right. That's, yeah, it is. It's very important. Well, the compliments. May you have a very long career. Good luck today at the competition, and thank you. Thank you. And we welcome now Michael Lusk. Welcome to the stage, Michael. We look forward to your performance. Thank you. Uh, my name is Michael Lusk, and <clears throat> this is a curmudgeon song. I used to sing or you know, write love songs and road songs, but now I'm writing curmudgeon songs. And there, this one's about teenagers. And I'm sorry, Anthony, I didn't realize <laughs> that there were actually be teenagers here. And so don't get too mad. I'm I'm only kidding. And okay, okay. Well, they drive around with the with the music thumping, and when they dance, it looks it looks like humping. I give them dirty looks, but they but they don't care. Rotten, awful teenagers. And when you, well, you gotta watch them, watch them like a hawk, or your merchandise will take a walk and somehow disappear into, into thin air. Horrible, rotten, awful teenagers. Now, don't get me wrong, cause I love kids. I buy a box of Girl Scout cookies every year, nearly every year. And with adults I get along, I'm just not quite so very fond of the in-between, the in-between ages. When teenage boys want to impress, every other word starts with F or S. They wear those silly saggy pants hanging off their rears. Horrible, rotten, awful teenagers. The march of science never ceases, conquers hunger and cures diseases. The time is right for a new vaccine. A program of immunization financed by the Gates Foundation to inoculate against the teens. I'm a patient man, I'm not, not easily riled. But why must teens be so, so juvenile? So loud and out of hand, so immature. Horrible, rotten, awful teenagers. Thank you. <laughs> Michael, come on over here. Michael Lusk, everybody, and uh, his album is going to be called Get Off My Lawn. <laughs> um, now, you say you're not curmudgeonly, really. No, I'm, I'm not really. <laughs> so what was, was there any one thing that inspired this song, Horrible Teenagers? Yeah, well, um, my niece was talking about when she hung out with her male friends, how they were viewed with suspicion. And I, it brought back a memory. 
when I was a kid, you'd walk into a store, every eye would follow you, or everybody thought you were going to rip something off. Um, and so I kind of based, I riffed it on that. You know, I mean, teenagers, especially teenage boys, are can tend to be can be obnoxious. Not not. Not all of them, Anthony, but <laughs> some, some of them. More than the, the average population. Now, were you perfect as a teen, my friend? No. <laughs> all those things. <laughs> what, was the worst, what was the worst thing you ever got in trouble? What was the worst thing you ever got caught for as a teen? Um, well, there were many things probably worse that I did not get caught for. But uh, I did get caught hopping a freight once. <gasps> Uh, with my friend, that was our great teenage adventure, and we were put in juvenile hall in uh, Eugene, Oregon, overnight. And my parents had to bail us out; had to pay for the air flight back. Do you have a song about that? No, I, ha I probably should write one, but I it's called "Horrible Teenagers." <laughs> Thank you, Michael Lusk. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we welcome next for the West Coast songwriters, Chris Hansen from Oakland, California. Thank you. So this is a brand new song, so excuse the lack of eye contact. I'll make it all now. In this bed is warm and painless when I'm dying of all my ages My body's been a cage for my entire life well, Our home seems old and empty And our children's children hold me And their smiles all remind me You were my entire life We were born into color and we painted one another with precious perfect lines when i was young i walked the wire now you're gone i'm over fire it was a circus and a sweet dream you were mine I alive. Now I try to find the pieces of the gods that I believe in. I'm tracing all your shadows. You are my entire life. We were born into color and we painted one another with precious perfect lines. mind is like a shovel digging through the graves and troubles beating like a drum then I hang up on my sorrows and love will never crumble death's wrecking ball is hollow you were my entire life Born into colors, and we painted one another in a picture perfect life. It was never black and white. Now my body's cold and empty, and our children's children hold me, and their tears fall all around. Thank you. That was fantastic. Come on over here, Mr. Chris Hansen from Oakland, California. How are you? I'm, I'm doing great, thank you. Um, I need to ask you a little bit about your guitar technique. I'm not a guitarist, but I've not seen that before. Mm -hmm. Either have I. Um, 
You know, everybody has two bones in their wrist, and they swivel on each other. It's a cool primate thing, so we can swing around and collect change. And um, mine are fused, so I can't turn my palm towards the sky, so I have to play guitar over the top. And uh, have, have they always been that way, or was it something that happened later in life? Or It happened sometime when I was inside my mother. <laughs> I don't know exactly when, but it's just, it just happened that so, way. Uh, well, I was asking because I was wondering if you've always played guitar this way then. You know, when I was taking lessons, when I was young, mm -hmm. seven, eight, I tried to play like everyone else, and it didn't work out. So I switched yeah. when I was 14. That's fantastic. And you're just like, here we go. This is going to work for me, and this is how it works for me. Now, I want to ask you um, about your influences um, I'm not going to say who you remind me of a little bit, but who are your influences? Um, is it Bob Dylan? Yeah. Okay, that was the right answer, right? <laughs> um, uh, let's see. Um, you know, Bob Marley, Funkadelic, yeah. Parliament, Gillian Welsh, um, John Cougar Mellencamp, all of rock and roll, yeah. Grateful Dead. You know, the list goes on and on, yeah. right, songwriters? Yeah. Like, it just, it's, you every song's amazing. Has there ever been a um, like sticky sweet pop song that has in inspired you? Um, uh, yes, I can't think of one, but I've, I've, I'm always inspired. Actually, this most recent song, I don't know how or why, but I've been listening to Hamilton a lot. Oh, yes. And like a lot. It's kind of crazy. I have three kids, and they always want to listen to it. So, of course, I'm listening to it, and I'm really into it. And this song just like came... And I s suspect somehow it's out of Hamilton. Yeah. Well, that's wonderful. Well, well, keep listening to all the music and, and keep doing the songwriting that you're doing. And I'm glad that you didn't let your fused wrist stop you from playing music. And thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you. All right, next up, we welcome from Los Gatos, California, the one and only Mark Miller. This is called Over You, Over Me. Flags. The compass always points true north And the flags come out every July 4th The sun always sets on the western sky And I'll be yours till the sea runs dry And I know Cause I got eyes to see Got all I need right in front of me Got a window seat With the finest view I'm never getting over you Over and over again I lose my way, I come back and then I start over and over and over, it's true I'm never getting over you Been around the world, I've traveled far Every road I take leads to where you are Been over land, over sea, over time, overdue I'm never getting over you Over and over again I lose my way, I come back and then I start over and over and over It's true I'm never getting over you Like a postcard on its way I'll be coming home to stay Over and over again I lose my way, I come back and then I start over and over and over It's true, I'm never getting over you I start over and over and over again I lose my way, I come back and then I start over And over it was meant to be Whatever happens, don't get over me
Thank you. Say hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm, vi I'm very well. Thank you very much. Uh, I want to ask you a little bit about your songwriting. Um, how long have you been writing music? Well, I started probably 30 years ago, but I had about a 30-year hiatus, so I've just uh, recently come back to it. Um, and where do you draw your inspiration from? Oh, wow. Well, all over. I mean, there's no one singular place. Usually it starts with a phrase. Um, could be from any place. Could be from a conversation. It could be from TV. Could be anything. And um, I, I want to. Do you ever write silly songs? Because you seem like. Silly yeah. Thanks for that. Yeah, I, I, that's I very nice. In your eyes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Is that a mischievous <laughs> thing or yeah, just a, a silly mystery, thing? Yeah. 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 Uh, not really. No. <laughs> no. I thought I'd do it. Um, well, we wish you luck. Oh, how long have you been a member of the West Coast Songwriters? Uh, this is my second year. And, and how are you liking it? Oh, it's great. There's a lot of inspiration here. Do you, um, uh, you know, for me, being on stage in front of people is is a lot of fun. How do you feel about the, the TV part of this? Oh. See that camera, that light? Look over, look, no, look over there. <laughs> oh, that <laughs> so light, okay. It uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's debilitating, yeah. actually. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think so. You're going to be able to tell all your friends to see you here. Um, uh, let me ask you this. Uh, do you perform um, in front of audiences frequently? I typically don't perform in front of anybody. Really? Yeah. Wow. This is, I do this only on occasion, usually just here. Really? <laughs> and so is that... Um, By choice. Well, well, oh, okay, this could go anywhere. Is, is, uh, does it make you nervous? Uh, yeah, I, well, actually... Quite a number of years ago, I played in bands, okay. and I played full time for like ten years, like when I was in my twenties. Uh -huh. But um, it's a little different when you have a band. You know, you yeah. can kind of hide behind the band, and it's a whole different scene. A absolutely, yeah. Um, uh, did you were you the front man in the band? I did most of the vocals. Yeah. Well, we're so glad to have you as a part of our West Coast Songwriters, and thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see you out there. That was Mark Miller, and we're going to continue on, but I'm going to remind everybody that these guys are all performing uh, for prizes. We're going to give away a 40-minute voice lesson with Yari, and that goes to best performance, and then best song that is chosen by our esteemed judges will um, get a David Shribner uh, Shribner, sorry, <laughs> song co a consultation. David Shribner will give, be giving the song, cons song cons consultation. Um, but thank you again to our beautiful judges, and we're going to carry on with our next artist, who is Nate Walker. Hi, Nate. Hi, how's it going? Welcome. Uh, many years ago, I fell in love with the world and bailed, and left America behind. And the people that knew me the best said that I was a lifer, that I probably wasn't coming back. Um, but after many trips back and forth over the ocean and through the stratosphere, I realized that my spirit never left this place. So this song is about coming home. So now begin things new In this old home With love and faith that's true That guides me on to Possibility To live open wide let go the emptiness and live my life with love that rings and tone with the path that I choose. with you from places hot to rivers 
Toward the deep and blue Found again the home I always knew Let's go to America Let's go to America So now to know what's right And land a hand And bringing truth to life When I can Live possibilities A far inside To be the man I am With humble pride With love that reigns in tune That I choose I'm free to choose Dear children Know we love you And may your lives be blessed To you we leave our world Let's go to America This is your America Let's go to America This is your America Thank you. Fantastic. Come on over here. Nate Walker, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm well. So tell me again, I missed the beginning of your story about that song. You are from here, but you did a lot of traveling? Yeah. Um, after college, I left. I checked out of America and decided I had found someplace better. Where was that? Uh, that was Japan. And I lived there for a very long time. And um, uh, lo and behold, America is a great place to be. <laughs> a great place to be. Even now? Yeah, you know, you think about that because, like, people say, oh, "I'm moving to Canada." If that guy gets in, and guess what? He got in, and um, uh, even now, yeah. it's this mess that we have is part of what makes it amazing. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, and how long ago did you write that song? I wrote that song at about thirty-five thousand feet, about eight years ago, on the way home. Really? Yeah. And um, well, it's a beautiful song. Not that I'm going to sway the judges in any way, but sway them all you want. That's fine. <laughs> can't <laughs> they're too they're too steadfast and solid um but uh were you able to visit the states while you were in japan or was it a homesickness that brought you back or it's the people and and the the dynamism and the inspiration and the possibilities in this country are just beyond all of the cynicism you could carry around about how messed up we are um, so it's uh yeah, yeah. That's what brought me back. And where where are you now? Um, in San Mateo. In San Mateo. Yeah. yeah. And uh, how are you adjusting to prices? <laughs> <laughs> it's great. You know, <laughs> you live in Tokyo and then you come back and you're like, actually, Tokyo is kind of cheap compared yeah. to here. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of great. Um, so now we can live anywhere and it'll be cheap. Exactly. Yeah. This is what my parents say. Stay out there as long as you can. You're going to just, you know, have a leg up if you go anywhere else. Well, we thank you for that beautiful song. 
And um, are you are are you performing in front of audiences right now? I'm doing a lot with West Coast songwriters, and uh, one of these days I'll do a full set somewhere. Yeah. So. And then if you do a full set, will you pull, pull together a full band, or do, will you do the singer-songwriter thing? I'll probably do the singer-songwriter thing. It's, so. it's easier. Yeah. <laughs> it's easier. Than wrangling. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much. You. Once again, Nate Walker. And we're up to our final performer, and then the judges are going to deliberate, and then we're going to have a wonderful performance uh, that all of us get to enjoy from Yari Melcher. So, um, you're up. You're our final guy. <laughs> Please welcome Vic Martin from San Jose, California. Thank you very much. Uh, this song is uh, called Country Love, and it's, uh, it's a song about uh, my grandparents' life together. He picked fruit on his family farm while she poured drinks in her daddy's bar. A couple kids growing up out west, they made eyes from the day they met. He took her hand, pulled her in, and said, I think it's time we were more than friends. Within a year, they were mom and dad. That kid didn't have most kids had. Said, how are we gonna last? How did it all get so hard so fast? You just smiled at her and laughed. Don't you ever forget what we had? We got a country love. Come on, baby, hang tough. You know we're blessed from above. Well, country love is enough. Makes things right when they're wrong. It's gonna keep our kids strong. Like no other love. Something no one can touch. Country love is enough. Then the summer when the fires came and the sky didn't bring the rain. Not a single crop survived and couldn't keep his faith alive. That ground turned as a dry and didn't think he could provide. Shares grew bare and the nights got long. He said, baby, how are we going to hold on? She said, look into me. Don't we always find a way to get by? We got a country love. Come on, baby, hang tough. You know we're blessed from above. Well, country love is enough. Makes you dry when they're wrong. It's going to keep our kids strong. Like no other love. Something no one can touch. Well, country love is enough. Hand in hand, the day that the Lord came to take her away. I watched her walk down the orchard roads. Cherry blossoms fell like snow. All the kids by her side. As they said the final goodbyes, she said, I can't stand to see y'all cry. Don't you know I'll always be by your side? We got a country love. Come on, baby, hang tough. You know we're blessed from above. Well, country love is enough. Makes things right when they're wrong. It's gonna keep our kids strong. 
like no other love something no one can touch no country love is enough There he is, Vic Martin. Come on over here. This is what we do. Hi, Vic. Hi. How you doing? I'm doing well. That was a pretty song. Thank you very much. Are you? Where are you from? San Jose, California. Uh, have you always lived in San Jose? Pretty much, yeah. And t okay, and you got the country song thing going. Trying to, <laughs> trying to. Is that is that the kind of music you you? Uh, that speaks to you the most? It is. It is, definitely. Yeah. Um, what is it about country music that you like? The storytelling. Um, you know, just the authenticity of it. Um, I, uh, yeah, just it really connects with me. And do you have a particular favorite country artist? Um, you know, I like a lot of artists out there right now. Um, I, I really like a lot of uh, guys in uh, Texas. Pat Green, Rob Baird, um, Troy Cartwright. Um, but I, I, I enjoy what's on the radio too, the kind of the Nashville sound. What are you listening to on the radio? What, what, uh, what station, I don't, uh, what, what do you listen to? Uh, KRTY, ah, 95.3. Yeah, yeah, they're still around. They're That's still awesome. Around. Going strong, very strong actually. Yeah. Have you ever been on their airwaves? I have not, no. Have you sent them your music? Not yet. No, I'm, I'm just getting started in this, uh, in this journey. Um, so. How old are you? I am uh, 37 years old. And when did you first start writing music? About a year ago. Wow. I, uh, yeah, I started playing guitar about four or five years ago and started singing about two years ago. So kind of a new chapter in my life right now. Very good. Yeah. What inspired you to pick up the guitar? Uh, my wife told me, pick up a guitar because <laughs> I know that you're going to, I know you're going to love it. So. All the best <laughs> things happen because our wives told us so. That's right. Absolutely. <laughs> And does she, um, do you sing to her? I do, I do, a little bit. Sometimes she, I get a little shy. Oh, you get shy. I was going to ask if she turns red. <laughs> no, mostly me. It's mostly me. And then I, I, I'm totally, I know I'm asking you so many questions, but I'm intrigued. Do, do you um, write about your lives together? A little bit, yeah, I do. I try to. Uh, the songwriting thing's, uh, it's an interesting thing. Yeah. It's an interesting thing, so... Um, yeah, trying to draw on experiences from our life together. We just had a little boy, so I have a seven-month-old at home, so well, there's some inspiration writing. there, yeah. yeah. I was just gonna say, <laughs> you're going to be writing like crazy and not sleeping, so the songs might get kind of weird. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, we're there. We're, we're getting there. <laughs> well, Vic, thank you so much. Thank you very much. And thank, thank you for being part of the competition, and good luck to you. Thank you so much. I know. This has been so fun. So a couple of things I want to remind you that um, our judges are going to be deliberating now for a little while. We're going to give them time to head out. Um, uh, Greg and Bev and Michael, we thank you for, your, for listening and we look forward to your comments and your voting. And for everybody in the room and out there to know what the artists are playing for, uh, we're going to be giving away the best song award today and we're also going to be giving away the Best Performance Award. So the Best Song Award, the winner of the Best Song Award is going to win a song consultation with David Schreiber. Scheibner. Wow, dude. And, and I'm Austrian. I should be able to understand this, this German, <laughs> German writing. David Scheibner. And David's mu musical experience, for those of you that don't know, he has a long career, almost 20 years in L.A., writing for Walt Disney and Paramount. And he moved to Nashville to continue his work in music production. And he now calls the Bay Area home. And we're very lucky to have him. And one songwriter will be very lucky to win the Best Song Award as voted on by our judges this evening. So we wish all of the performers luck on this. And then for the performance award, the, pe the best performance award is going to be getting a 40 minute voice lesson with our very own Yari Melcher. And Yari is actually sitting up ready to play for us today. Yari is a part of the West Coast Songwriters. He is a, a very big part of the music uh, community 
here in the South Bay, and he's going to play some music for us as our judges deliberate. So, Yari, we welcome you. Thank you very much. I'll tell you what, I've been on both sides of that table, yeah. and uh, I have nothing but respect for everyone who's uh, laid it out there on the line and performing their heart out tonight. So it's a, it's a privilege, it's an honor to be here tonight and uh, do a couple songs from a new release uh, that I released in uh, January uh, off the Reclamation Project EP. I'm gonna open up with this one though. This one's called My Father's Son. High over my Yes, I My Father's Son I live my life just like my father's done. Heart over mind, yes I, my father's done. If he told me one day that somebody had my heart in chain, would I believe it? No way. Made up my mind I'd never fall that way. But tell me why every time I try to tell you it's goodbye, I can't seem to let go. trying to say heart over mine yes I I'm a father's son and I, I'm inclined to do as my father's done Thank you very much. 
Thank you. Uh, this next song I wrote um, many years ago, actually. And I was living in low-income housing at the time, and the walls were paper thin. And uh, I had a, a, a much cheaper version of this Casio here. And uh, I didn't have any headphones. I didn't have any earbuds. And um, I found out just how, how appreciative my neighbors were of my songwriting prowess at 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> you know? Keep it down, I'm trying to sleep. And uh, I walked downstairs the next day and the landlady, sweet woman, she's all, Yari, we heard about you. You like to sing loud. But um, I was listening to a lot of Stevie Wonder at the time and uh, I, th I think his uh, thumbprint is all over this one. And the message of this song is, is very simple. It's, I can be your everything if you give me the chance. It's called All in All. You are like a rose in bloom So beautiful I should beware of the thorns around you You laugh and play with me But at night you're gone too soon You say there's another love for you It's kind of like that rainy day When through the clouds a ray of sunlight shines down on me You're bittersweet like a silly game Two children play Hide and seeking every day but I can be your all in all If you gave me the chance to show I can And I could be your only love in this lifetime I swear to you I am I had an answer for why, why life is funny this way. I could do everything right, you slip out of sight anyway. Ooh, oh, I could be your all in all if you gave me the chance to show I can. And I could be your only love in this lifetime, I swear to you, oh, I swear to you, I could be your all in all, if you gave me the chance to show you I can. And I could be, I could be your only love, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the sexy part of the song. Everything that I'm, that I'm trying to tell you, baby, is simply this. Ooh, ooh, I could love you better than anyone else ever could. Said I could love you. I could be your all in all. I could be your all in all. If you gave me the chance to show you why I can yeah, 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 yeah. I could be your only love in this lifetime I swear to you, said I swear to you I am Oh, I could be, yeah. said I could be, yeah. I could be your love oh. Cause I love you, babe, I love you, baby Thank you. Thank you very much. Cool. Um, 
This next song uh, was the first single release off of my new EP called The Reclamation Project. And the title of the song is, is Drowning. And I had the opportunity to write this, uh, co-write this with uh, a friend of mine um, who's a number one hit songwriter herself. And she co-wrote Blake Shelton's number one hit, She Wouldn't Be Gone. Her name is Jennifer Aiden. She's a Bay Area kid, but goes back and forth between here and Nashville quite liberally. <coughs> and uh, yeah, it's about uh, being in a relationship you know you shouldn't be in. So here it is. <laughs> Liming over my head Didn't look when I jumped in My feet way down with that I'm undone, you let me drown in Can't move and I can't breathe You want to sign red nine feet deep Your waves crash over me I'm undone, you let me drown in Red rod right off my sleeve I'm sick and tired of what you do to me I blame you Make me fall In and out of love with you so fast I let you go but I keep bringing you back And I feel like Oh, well, I'm in over my head Didn't look when I jumped in My feet way down with it I'm undone, you let me drown in Can't move and I can't breathe You want a sign red nine feet deep your way trash over me I'm undone, you let me drown in Try to run, but now I'm trying to fight it Cause every time I get so lost inside it How do I make you leave? Cause your memory is trapped inside of my head And I had to know How can I get over you If you won't let me Well, I'm in over me Head. Didn't look when I jumped in My feet way down with it I'm undone, you let me drown in Can't move and I can't breathe You want a sign red nine feet deep Your waves crash over me I'm undone, you let me drown in Well, I have to save me Cause baby, you left me on my own I'm treading water, it's harder I'm in a dead man's float Going under, it's no wonder I can't catch my breath You stole my heart when you left me Didn't look when I jumped in My feet way down with that I'm undone, you let me drown in I can't move and I can't breathe You want a sign red nine feet deep Your waves crash over me I'm undone, you let me drown in Oh, 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 oh. Yeah Thank you very much Yari, that was wonderful. Thank you for having me. Yeah, are you kidding? Thank you for everything that you do for West Coast songwriters. Oh, and uh, you're an inspiration to us all. So thank you for performing. We're so lucky to hear your music and so keep much. up the great work. Will do. Um, Yari, of course, is going to be providing one of the prizes. He'll be doing some coaching. So uh, <laughs> vocal coaching by this guy, I can only imagine, be a wonderful experience. Our judges are back. How are we doing? Greg, Bev, Michael, good. all good? We're great. Yeah. It's yeah? a tie. It's a tie. <laughs> I, um, Nine uh, days. I know the winners. I have them right here. I'm ready to, I'm ready to tell <laughs> all. So the first person I'm going to ask uh, to come up is our winner for the best performance for this month's West Coast songwriter, Palo Alto Chapter. And the winner for best performance comes from Austin Freeman, for Weary Souls. Austin, where are you? Come on up here. And I'm going to have you do the same as we were so that everybody can see you. But uh, this is your opportunity to talk with the judges and learn a little bit about um, what, what they liked best about your performance. Who's going to start? I think you owned it, Austin. It was, you know, it was really a, a pleasure to to experience the song, and and uh, you really, you really told us the story. Thank you. That song, by the way, is a week old. <laughs> 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 yeah, Good. I wrote Great. that a week and a day ago, actually. Do I steal anyone? I do that. Is that? 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you could do that. We need a buzzer for you, Michael. So uh, nice work on the strum pattern. Uh, you defined the rhythm nicely by doing that. Um, the, the one thing that I would say in terms of it's not done, I don't think. You know, it's only a week old. Mm -hmm. um, I would like your lyrics to push and pull me a little more, to have some a little more uh, movement in it. That being said, um, the imagery is very strong. Uh, but I want to know, I didn't know if you were going to, if you were coming from, mm -hmm. you know? And it's a motion song. You're talking about a journey. You're talking about traveling. Sure. Right. Yeah, I'm <clears throat> your voice and your guitar sounded great. I mean, whenever I'm writing something, whenever I'm playing, I'm always listening in here for the bass player and the drummer, mm -hmm. for the snare and the kick and the bass, you know, so yeah, you're, you're the same thing yeah. you're doing. And, I play uh, so with that a band worked. all the time, I just yeah. don't have one. Yeah. Yeah. You got it. Well, it's always here. Unfortunately, no, you got to let right. do it some right. other way. But I also, when you go into the acapella part, that works for me too, because mm -hmm. I'm basically a vocal guy from being this big. So I would, I would even go to more, that, like you said, it's not quite done yet, mm -hmm. but, you know, you got to play it a while. You might want to put that acapella part and maybe even do some some kind of kick drum on your guitar, whatever, you sure. know, just because acapella is always good, <laughs> especially in a tune like that. Right. Well, thank you. Great advice. All three. All thank right. you. Um, so I want to ask you, what do you, what do you, what, what's your plan now? You got this fabulous prize, and um, you're going to get to go work with David. No, with Yari. No, with Yari. <laughs> <laughs> Either one's fine. Yeah. I'm, I'm good. You're going to get to work with Yari. Are you going to work on this song, or do you think you'll work on something else? Uh, that's, you know, I wrote another song yesterday, so I don't know. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I think I'll just probably lay it out there and say, Yari, what do you want to do? You know, I'm, I'm here. I'm your student. I'm your pupil, so let's figure this out. Yeah. Well, wonderful. Congratulations, Austin. We're so proud of you, and thanks for being a part of things. Now, everybody, I'm sure, is dying to know the best song of this month's West Coast songwriter, Palo Alto Chapter, is Chris Hansen. Chris, come on up. You got best song, buddy. How about that? That's pretty cool. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Little, little old Oakland guy makes good. So um, uh, the judges are going to give you a little feedback here, but congratulations. That's great. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's hear it. <laughs> let's hear it. Feedback. Um, it's a great story. You sucked me in right away. And uh, I mean, you, <laughs> being someone with grandkids, I, I'm, I'm right there when you're mm. doing this. So it worked for me. I mean, you're, so lines like, in this bed, it's warm and painless, and when I'm dying of all my ages, my body's been a cage my entire life. That works for me, you know. I'm <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah. It's, a, it's a beautiful story, and, you know, as we said in the beginning, I mean, all of us are, just, are looking for that truth in the song, you know, of you to, to, draw, us, to draw us in and tell us that story and, and put us in that place, right? And that's... And that's what you've done here is lyrically is to just to put us in, the, in that experience. And that's the, the ultimate thing for me when I hear a song. Um, I know, you know, you, you, you said you just wrote it. You know, you're, you're still looking at the words. You weren't making eye contact. None of that matters when we're talking about the strength of the song itself. Yeah, right? got it. Thank you. So uh, I'll start with positive. Um, first thing I wrote down was very strong lyrics. This is... This is the closest thing I heard tonight to a, a song where the lyrics are probably done. Not quite, but, but probably very, very close. This is very good writing. Um, I get to give five, I gave you five for the lyrics. You got more that you can give us melodically on that. You can give us yeah. some more variety. You can give us some more, uh, again, push, pull, rise, fall, that, all that kind of motion stuff. There's, there's more of that to do it. But here's, here's what I said to Cap my comments to this song, yeah. I would cover it. Thank you. I'd play this song out, right? Just like, just as it is right now. Yeah. I, I really liked it. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. Thank, thank you. Thank you. All three of you. Um, is 
I just want to ask, as a, a non-songwriter, is that something that you aspire to also, just getting your song into the hands of somebody else? Um, you know, when I write songs, I think for a lot of people, when people enjoy your songs, when people just say, wow, I really like that song, like, that's great. Um, and if anyone, if it's stuck in someone's head, mm -hmm. that's even better. And then if someone takes the time to learn the song mm -hmm. and play it, that takes it even higher. And then if they play the song and they make a lot of money and then you <laughs> get it, <laughs> that's yeah, not so what I'm going <laughs> for. But that sounds like a great, <laughs> a great plan, <laughs> you know. But but uh, just Good. just just that someone would want to play it, yeah, it means a lot. That's great. Well, I'm so proud of you. Congratulations, Chris. And uh, you got the Best Song Award, so you're going to get the song consultation with David Schreibner. Did I get it that time? <laughs> I'm changing. Scheibner. I just shouldn't look at the paper. David Scheibner, he's awesome, and he's going he's gonna to work wonders with you. And you might, so. you might teach him. Comments. Yeah, you might teach him a thing or two, but congratulations. <laughs> Uh, we're so happy that you've won this, and thank you for being a part of the West Coast Songwriters. It's, uh, as everybody knows, they've been around since 1979, and it provides a wonderful place for songwriters to continue to make music. And for people like me, who made a career in playing people's songs on the radio, to, to make sure there's good songs out there to play so that we're not listening to, you know, lots of good stuff. So <laughs> I thank you to all of you for what you do and, and having the guts to do it in front of everybody. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. So, ladies and gentlemen, we thank you for coming out uh, for this lovely event. We're going to be doing this monthly here, and um, each time we'll have different judges. My esteemed judges, how was the experience for you? Fantastic? It was great. We had great songs tonight. It was, yeah, yeah, yeah. everything was great. And like we said, it's... Um, it's all we can always edit. Yeah, right. That's that's the number one message. When you <laughs> see something like this, will you, will will you go off and, and write something? Are you two, Greg and, and Bev? Are you going to run off and write a couple of songs together? I just started before we came here. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, always thank writing. you, thank you, and Michael. Yes. One last point. Mm -hmm. uh, as the judges, we don't have to do any of it, but we really appreciate the uh, professionalism of both you and all the staff here at, at uh, Midpen. It's really nice to work with pros. Well, thank you so much. And thank you to you all. Have a great day.